The one major staple of Thailand is rice, but there is a great variety of protein and produce. Well known for its spices and seasonings, Thai cuisine may include fish sauce, fish or shrimp paste, hot chili peppers, coconut milk and cream, garlic, and more. The Thai people have proven skillful in adapting methods from other cultures to fit in with their native ingredients. Next up on the journey, we're going to travel to Minneapolis to visit with Andrew Akafong, who is the retail dietitian at Makatoons Fine Foods. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew Akafong, and I am a registered dietitian of Thai Design. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the food practices of Thai people. To begin, the food of Thailand has been influenced by its regions and the surrounding countries. For example, in southern Thailand, you would find more creamy based meals due to the abundance of coconut. Or how about the national dish of Thailand, which is Pad Thai, that was introduced to Thailand by Chinese immigrants. Or how about sticky rice and la, minced meat salad, glutinous rice balls, that was introduced to Thailand by Laotian immigrants. Or the very popular peanut sauce often found with appetizers, or Bram Long Song, which is a peanut curry spinach dish, that was introduced to Thailand by Malaysian immigrants. So you got all these unique different influences making up what Thai food is today. Thai food focuses on six different flavors. Salty, sweet, sour, bitter, spicy, and umami. And I'll go that into a little bit later. A common practice of many Thai households is wanting to feed their guests and not letting their guests leave home hungry. And what I mean by that is, if we see our guests with an empty plate, even though that probably means that they're all done eating, we may encourage you to eat more food because that makes us think that we are a bad host and we're not feeding you very well. In terms of meals, there is no such thing as a breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal. So for example, for breakfast, I would probably eat rice with eggs or quick deal, which is a rice noodle soup with meat and veggies. Or for dinner, I could actually have those same foods that I just mentioned before instead. So regardless of what time it is in the day, food is food. Remember how I talked about the six different flavor profiles of Thai food earlier? Here is an example I'd like to share with you. In this bowl, we have green mango slices, which are unripened mango, so they're going to be sour. Very popular snack, paired with this dipping sauce, chilies for the spiciness, toasted rice powder for the bitterness, lime juice for the sour, sugar for the sweet, and fish sauce for the saltiness. As you can see, there are many different types of foods here on this meal spread. We got fresh vegetables here um, from the snake beans and Thai eggplant. We got a fried egg omelet, pork floss, steamed rice, jungle curry made with pork belly, guava juice, cassava pandan cake, which is often eaten as a snack or dessert. We got sticky rice, which you can roll up into a ball and use as a vessel to pick up food or dip in sauces like this, such as nam pik pa, which is fish sauce and chilies, or jia mak len, which is roasted tomatoes, garlic, shallots, seasoned with lime juice, fish sauce, and sugar. Khao Chi Pate, which is very similar to the Vietnamese banh mi. It's a French Indonesian baguette stuffed with liver, pate, mayonnaise, different assortments of deli meats, vegetables, and herbs. And 
as examples of herbs and spices here, we got this root called galango, which, is, which has lemon notes, very similar to ginger, lemongrass, lime leaves, we got Thai chilies, garlic, lime, shallots, Thai basil, and then this modar, uh, white peppercorn, and coriander. I hope from this presentation you gain an understanding of Thai food practices so you can succeed working with clients of Thai descent. From the spread that I've shown you, you've seen that there's a variety of different starches, proteins, fresh vegetables and fruits, and the six different elements of Thai flavors. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, spicy, and umami. My name is Andrew Akapong, and I am a registered dietitian of Thai descent, and thank you very much.